What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild again. And this is part, uh, how many parts is this? Uh, I think it's six. Oh, let me see. Uh, yeah, six. Well, let me just fix this. This is way too bright. Um. Okay, I think I might know what's up. Just let me just turn this a little bit up. Let me just like make. Let me just get this. We're gonna change at night. Okay, yeah, that, this is better. Rivali's Gale is now ready. I'll fix the settings in my I'll fix the settings in the monitor, so that way I will look at. Adam! A hole. Oh wait, I forgot. Amiibo time. But I don't think now it's a good time, so... Now we're just gonna focus on activating all the towers. And since I don't really talk much about anything, since I don't talk much, I figured maybe it's time I change that. Like, maybe I want to, like, tell you guys, like, a little stories. Like, some, like, they're not, like, true stories. They're, like, fictional stories. Like, now for this one, I want to tell you about, like, a rich man who is so, who is so awful to his workers, his butler, his maid, that, that they all quit. So, basically, this man... His name is Richards, and he was filthy rich. And he had everything. House, a, ha a mansion, a car luxury cars. But he was never nice to his servants. Because all he cared about was money. Like, you know how Mr. Goodman from SML only cares about money and not anyone else? Basically that. And soon his servants, soon his servants, like his butler first. Soon his butler, he had enough. He didn't want to work for him anymore. So he decides to run off by stealing his Lamborghini. And he went to a man, and he went to a stranger's house. And he said, and he said, if he can hide them, if he can hide from his house, because he doesn't want to work for, for Richard anymore. And soon Richard, he was furious. So he went back. So he went to find, to find his butler. And soon he started hitting him, even though he, even on how old he is. So then the butler decides to do something that no one has ever done. He quit. And soon he was sad because now he's going to be homeless. The butler, not the rich man. But they but the people that he hide from offer to offered him to work for them. So he uh, so he asked how much was the rich man paying him? And get this. He wasn't paying him at all. All he did was just let him sleep in a room. Like he was paying him nothing. So then they asked, well then why did you work for him? And get this sad thing. He paid his entire family to never speak to him again. And that's just awful.
So then they didn't have enough money, but they did gave him, but they did gave him a bed, and he was so happy because he never slept in a bed before, because all he ever slept on was a litter, like on a litter box. So anyways, he wasn't paying him at all. He all he did was just let him slept in a litter box and they and a the rich man, Richard, paid his entire family twenty million dollars each to never speak to him again. And that was just awful. So they didn't ha so the people that he was that we that he was hiding from didn't have enough money, but they did have a bed to, that he could sleep on. And now, and soon he was happy because he never slept on a bed before, because all he has ever slept on was a litter box, and he never. And get this, he never used an actual bathroom before, because all he has ever pooped on is the litter box, and if he ever has to pee, he pees in a water bottle, and sometimes he. And sometimes a rich man gets mad over something that he told him to do. Which is pretty stupid if you ask me. So then he had a good time for a few days. Oh wait. So then he worked with him for... So then... So then the servant actually started working for him for the next few days and he was happy because they were be because they were better than the rich guy. And soon even more companies showed up. The maid There was a maid that also worked for Richard and she didn't want to work for him because he was awful. And he made her always do like, you know, other stuff other than clean. And he did and she didn't want to do the same thing over and over again. So she quit. And he and they also asked how much was they was he paying her? And get this, he wasn't paying her at all. He wasn't paying any of his servants. And soon the rich man came to the same house and he said, where is she? And soon he told her. And he said, why did you run away? That you told her everything on why, on why she run away because he keeps making her do a lot of gross stuff and, and he never knows her name. He keep, she keeps calling her at all other names like Taco Bell, Quintanera, and Stupid Ho. Pretty much those names, but not by her real name. Which is, uh. Wait, what was her? Wait, what's her name? Anyway, she, he never called her by her real name. Just like some rude names. Now we're going to activate this tower.
So anyways, he went to find her and she did. And he was like, why did you run away? And she explained to her everything. I mean, she explained to him everything. And soon the, and soon the man talked to him on how he could treat his servants more well by paying him, by paying them. And he was like, paying them? Like with money? But then I'll have less of it. Then he, then he gave him an example. Let's say like this. Go make me a sandwich. And he said, no. And I said, what if I give you a thousand dollars? Would you make it? Yes. And he was like, see, see, it was like, see, do you see how money makes you want to do it? Ooh, ancient arrow. Wait, what have you got? <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my amiibos. I'll be right back. Back. No, no, wait, wait, actually. Actually, I found some more, and I will go there, gather them up, and then come back here and sell them. I pretty much, I think I have enough money to buy the house. Now we're gonna go back here, and I remember where they are. But I want to like, you know, do the amiibo thing. And I know a little trick that will get me that highly and highly and pants thing. You see this pants? I know a little trick that will help me. Okay, I just wanted to see something. I'm gonna go up here. Hmm. Now this is what I'll do. Now watch this little trick. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna save. And if we don't get it, then we'll just keep doing it and doing it until we get it. Okay, I think I need to go to a place where the wind won't take it away. I'm gonna save. Try again. We're gonna keep trying until we get it. 
I'm not gonna give up. Gonna be the same thing over and over again. Well, no matters because we're gonna try, try, try until we get it. You hear that, Link? We're gonna try until we get it. You got that? Uh, uh. This is always gonna be like this. There's only a 1% chance. Now listen here, Link. No matter how many times we're gonna do it, we're gonna get it. No matter how many times we're gonna get it, and I'm gonna use that outfit in the final boss. Okay, that's better. No, scratch that. Scratch that. I want the outfit. I don't care about that weapon. Maybe next time I'll get that weapon. It's just a little blade. I have a I have a way stronger one with me. Well, I'll be right back. Finally! Finally, we have it. Take a look at me. Look at me. I look like the original Link. Uh oh, wait, I forgot about more amiibos. I know I just rejected that last weapon, but next time, next time. Rivali's Gale is now. Re hey, Rivali's scale is ready. See, now we have the original Link. I like this outfit. I'm gonna wear it in the final battle. You know what? I'm gonna let you guys decide. Decide. Should I wear the champion's tunic or this? I'll let you guys decide. And I know how.
Okay, I have an idea. Hold on one second. Okay, I got it.
Okay, I know what to do here. No, no, no. I was gonna try to do something to get dragon skin. I guess I need like something that's not metal. I don't choose. Damn it, I lost him. It's fine. We'll get him next time. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Come on, Blood Moon Rise. Rise, Blood Moon, rise. Rise, Lord Vader. Rise, Lord Vader. Where's Pat May? I am afraid with your anger, you killed her. No. Blood moon rises once again. All right, now let me just do something real quick. So there's a village over there, and you want to know what villages have? Shrine. Nothing metal. Now stay here, Eddie.
Oh, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> so you came prepared. Yep. Village shrine. back in the bathroom and while I was in the bathroom I took my switch there and I focused and I got that so let me get something. okay and I also marked two shrines so now let's do that So after this, I'm going to continue to edit the four year anniversary film because it's almost going to be December because now it's October and as the month goes, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So I need to hurry up. Oh, I need my master sword. Oh, 
it'll take five minutes for it to regenerate. So we wait. My master sword is back. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. Forget it, I don't need it. Nice yet. I'll get her soon. I mean, I'll get the reply soon. <laughs> oh, there's another. Kind of forgot about this one, but is it kind of right? Ah. Always be smart, and I'm talking to you, Mr. Monkey. Okay, now this one. This is kind of gonna give me.
Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. Let's go. I know you. Oh. I know you. Can, if you can see in the camera that my that my face is too bright, but don't worry, I have a solution to that. I will come back there.
It all makes sense now. Thank you, Thomas Anders. Thank you, Thomas Anders. Thomas Edison. Yeah, the guy that invented electricity. Wait, is it? I mean, discovered. Who? Discovered electricity. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity. Well, who? He's a he's an American investor. Thomas Edison is an American investor. Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity. Thomas Edison is a is an American investor. So thank you, Benjamin Franklin. You know what? After this, I will talk to my dad about about Thomas Edison because he's smart. And besides, my dad will my dad loves to my dad loves to hear me talk about like historical stuff, like maybe about some people from the past. Like again, I'm actually like I'm telling you again, I'm actually gonna be serious. If you meet my dad, you're gonna love him. Like I'm actually being serious. You will love my dad when you meet him. Like seriously, my dad, he is a very, very kind person. Including my mom too. My mom and dad are very nice people. And if you meet them, you will love them. Like you're gonna be like, wow, he's so amazing. I want him to be my dad. And honestly, I'm very happy to have to have him as my dad. I'm very happy to have my dad as my dad. I'm very happy. Because he is such a good person. Now let's go to the last tower. Oh, shrine, nice. I'm gonna mark that there as a reminder. Because sometimes when you're in a game like this and you see something important you wanna go to, you always have to mark it so you can remember where it is. Which is honestly a very smart decision. Thank you, Nintendo. But it's okay, I already know where that shrine is. But let me just check over here something. 
Yeah, I take it there's a shrine there, but it's just not showing now. Because sometimes some games always do this. And it's pretty normal. It's not a, like a it's not like a virus thing or something. It's pretty normal. You know, before I didn't see on how fast the climbing was, and now I see it. In case I ran out of stamina, I have extra with me. Also, I heard about that new Quiet Place game, and it honestly looks fun, and I want to try it out. Oh, there's a... Let's activate the last tower. And here's the little fact. This was actually the last tower I've activated in my original account. How tall is that thing? Wow, I guess this is every girl's dream to have a to have a guy's tower this tall. It's every girl's dream to have a guy's tower this long.
Let's activate it. Last tower. Like I said, it's every girl's dream to have a guy's tower this long. But I'm pretty sure if a girl takes that, then she will end up in the hospital. Pause. Complete map of Hyrule extracted. Yep, now all the map is complete, so now I know where to go and when to go. And I'm pretty. And after I'm done. And when I'm done recording this, I'll. I'm. You already understand what I'm gonna do now. You understand what I'm gonna do. But when I'm done recording this, I'm also gonna like you know focus on hunting shrines to get some hearts, stamina, so I can use them for the final boss. You know what, I'm gonna let you guys decide on what I should wear for the final boss. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Hold on a second. Yep, 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 come on, come on, it's blurry, it's blurry, where am I, where am I, where do I go, where do I go? I am lost. I am lost. I have sand in my eye. Where do I go? Don't worry. I know what. I need a heat resistance. Now we just go straight. Go straight. I literally see it there. Oh no. I'm blind. I'm blind as a duck. Where am I? I can't see anything. Never mind. Found it. Let's see what to do here.
Can this be lifted? Ah, uh, I get it now. I'm not touching that. What happens if I do touch it? Huh, oh, nothing happens. It's all about being smart. Let me just... No, 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 Try to put a fast one on. <laughs> Try to put a fast one on me. Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm ten times smarter than that. I graduated high school. I pretty much know what I'm doing. Hey, what happens if I do this? <laughs> I just like to make jokes. Free entrance back. Nice. Nice. Do I still need to bring this with me? Yay. Yeah, never mind. I'll regen. Okay, I don't need to bring this with me. Nice. Uh. 
<gasps> I can see again. I'm gonna go back here. Because I wanna go all the way back to. I wanna go to the village. <sighs> and maybe there's gonna be a shrine there. Protection is now ready to roll. I'm gonna die from heat stroke. But first, I want to check something. Oh, it's over here. Oh, wait, I, I was gonna go to that lady. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Come on. How about I go here and I activate that shrine and then maybe later I'll go to the lady that I will Honestly with Tears of the Kingdom it's more faster because you can you can go on a snowboard and you know Town.
Well, let me try this. I need a bigger one. I need that. Hmm. I actually have an idea. This is what I get for being smart. Now oh, give me back my weapons. I'm so smart. <laughs> you know, after playing this game, I kind of want to watch video game Donkey again, where he struggles to beat a Mario Maker level. And in the end, he... Video game donkey again. Now we're gonna go to Cocorico Village. No, no, I shouldn't hurt myself. I should love myself. Because I actually do love myself. Gain some stamina. Not fast. Now let's go. Now let's go here. Now we're gonna go to the village. Oh, hold on one second. All right, we're here. Let's walk in. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Freeze! Where do you think you're going? Not into town, that's for sure. No boy, no boy, boy allowed. Off with. Off with you. 
So what, no dudes allowed in there? Well, that's racist. Or are forbidden to go to Goro Town. Only Vach are allowed in. When I say boy, I mean man, obviously. You don't. All void must leave at once. Well, that's racist. I am offended. <laughs> I'm offended. You won't let any boys allowed. Not boy. Boys. But don't worry, I know how to do this. First, let's gather the memory. Now, where have I last seen this? Come after her, you come after me. <gasps> I remember everything now. <laughs> Sorry, I just like to be a little dramatic. Anyways, I need to be a woman to go in there. And I'm not being a woman. I'm proud of who I am. Like, I... Like, I hate the gays. I hate the transgender. I really do. Like, I really do hate the gays and transgender. I don't support them. I hate them. I hate them so much. They're the worst thing. They're the worst things of existence. It's the worst thing that ever existed. Gays, transgender, it's the worst thing.
Now I think now I know how to do this. I've beaten this game before. Damn it. What do I do now? Hold on one second. Alright. Know what to do now. Wait, where is she? She was supposed to be here. Alright, hold on. Let me take a little rest. Until morning. Hold on, let me just do something real quick. Let me just do something real quick. Alright, um, there she is. See. You want to make it to go on to Gorillo Town to sell to sell our goods, but we but we stopped before we could go in. Only women is to into that town. Only women can go in there. Hmm. Okay, what now? Okay, I just figured it out. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I need Gerudo Cloak. Now let me see what's next. Okay. What am I supposed to tell her? Oh, there's a guy in the roof. Okay. Hmm? Hmm? Only for one? What a ripoff! I mean, there's only one? There should be more than just one. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Hi. Ah, hi. You're a man. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I hate saying this stuff. Oh. Mm. <sighs> what the? Forget it. I have enough.
Huh. I'm a woman. Hey, don't do that. Look. Hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Seriously, do not do that. That's weird. That's weird. Don't do that. Got you. <laughs> Anyways, we got the outfit. Now let's go to the Forbidden City. I swear I'm never doing this again. They're gonna lift the rules. Alright, just act like what a woman does. <laughs> I'm a woman. I have a vagina on me. I don't think anything suspicious. Oh, they let me in. I'm gonna kill because I'm on my period. <laughs> Riju, Garuda, Garuda Chief. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? I had to, I had to cut you my penis off. Rather interesting there. I had to cut my penis off to get here. Oh. You stand before Lady Riju. Chief of the girl town, declare your business, but come here for, but come here no closer. Hold on, B Ballora, Valeria. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You three, what? You three, what is your name? Huh? Link, and what is? What is it you've come all this way here to tell me, Link? Huh? You think you have what it takes to sub s subdue something so powerful as as a divine beast? The only one who can cub who could over control them were the cha were champions like Lady Arbosa's and oh and all of the champions died in the calamity one hundred years ago. Hmm, hmm. Valeria, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the calamity happened, the princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into the deep sleep, into a deep sleep. A swordsman much like your your friend here, what's the name Link? Thought it always seems no seems more legends than facts. Hmm. What of the device? Wait, of the device on the hip appears to be a particular relicate of the Sheikah. I can't imagine what get what would give something so value to simple to simple different you can. Okay. Mm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Wait a moment. You're a boy! 
<laughs> avoid <laughs> avoid within our walls in the great crime but avo but avoid who is a champion well we never mister mistreat a friend of lady arbosa's and if you are here to help with Nabors, then we are uh, then we are allies mm. i saw it you i saw it on your way to town divine beast von norbius cloak in the in the massive sandstorm hurling hurling lightning at anyone who dares to approach we have we have to do something to stop it but we have to find any we have yet to find any way to up to appreciate the divine beast on our own if you truly if you truly are a champion perhaps you will be be able to enter Narbosis and claim its anger. Mm. Lady Riju, I don't I don't see how we can trust a complete stranger like something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person would first improve his worth by recovering your stolen thunder helmet. Mm. Ah yes. An interesting struggle. An interesting s s situation. Yeah. You. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand lightning from Narbosas. The Thunder Helmet. A family her heirloom and relict to Gerudo but as Ballora says it was stolen from us you needed to worry to Lady Riju if he truly is a champion this should be an easy task for him oh. our soldiers can tell you all where all you need to know about them who stole Lady Riju's her heirloom. Head through the arc, it will lead you to the barricade, then seek the Captain Tech and ask for a full re report. Without my heirloom, you you'll never be able to approach no bourses. <laughs> you know. If it takes a it takes heart to have it takes heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself, Lady Arbosas must be looking out for us. Okay, so I need to get the helmet. What are you doing here? This is a this is a backrest with the chief guardian, not a place for. It to... uh -huh. Anyways, I need to find out where that helmet is. Oh. Oh. My apologies. Hmm. Oh. Listen up. Hey everyone, listen up. Does this Hylian Vi has agreed to help us to often her any information you can oh. consider yourself a part of a unit.
Can't believe I'm a woman now. Okay, I need like a fast transportation and I think I know where to get it Because I'm not gonna walk all the way there Well, let me see what's one setting. Now see, isn't this more fun?
Now let's go here. Now let me just change my outfit. I'm sorry that I always pick this outfit, it's just that I actually really like this outfit. The champion's tunic, I actually like it. Oh no. guy Hold on, I want to check something real quick. That's fine, I'll probably check it later. I even do What do I do? What do I do? Hold on one second.
can I do to get its attention? Uh, this is a pickle. This is a big pickle here. That's fine, I have to take care of them.
Where do I go? Oh. Should have thought of that. Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a minute. That thing on your hip. Is that a... Is, could that be a Shika Slate? It's a Shika Slate. Then that means... Yeah, it's you. You're that Link guy. You've I've been looking for. My luck. My scouts are coming to the field looking high and low but now you but now you just wanted to enter my hideout oh excuse me <laughs> i haven't introduced myself yet i'm the leader of the yangi clan the strong the br the burly the one and only Master Konag, now prepare f not prepare for yourself. Now prepare yourself. I don't get this. He's having a temper tantrum. Oh yeah, I know what to do now. Now what are you going to do?
Who would have thought I'd be be I'd be done in like this? And and by by this guy of all people, you think I'm just going to let you stand? Do you? Ahem. I almost lost my temper there. Ah, what's the what the plan? What a uh, what a what a pain! I can't go out this way. What to do you, what do you want, what to do, what to do? Ah, got it! <laughs> I need to bust out my, se my serious move. A secret technique thought by my, fa thought by my father's mother's father thought by my father's mother's father it will all it will it will destroy you this isn't the end aha uh -huh. uh, maybe it's just a tab to be too big? Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon, you'll be gone. And not just from my line of sight. Only to... Only the leader of Yangi clan... Oh. <laughs> Coward! I shall be remembered! The Yangi clan will track you to the end of Hyrule! What the f was that? I kinda wanna try this one off. Oh, I can't wear it. Oh, sorry. I was just busy trying to do something, but I'll do it later. Let me just put my outfit back on. This is so humiliating. Where is she? Oh, there you are. Wait, before I give it the helmet, let me just do something real quick. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needed to say a word? As a chief of Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, ha I am as you. I am, as you have no doubt noticed still, but chill. But a chill. Mm. The people looking, f looking on me with nothing, but warm in their eye but even this bra brings me some path some pain i must admit i've tried so hard to work to be worthy of their love to worth 
to be worthy chief and to prove to myself that I am worthy too. The fa when my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as thought a shadow and fallen over me. Yes, you are your your arrival in the midstone. Okay, forget this. Yeah, just take the helmet. I can't see your face. Well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. No. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... <laughs> Urbusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> So funny. <laughs> I remember now. What's wrong? You just said uh, you were just staring all, all the way. What's wrong? You were just standing anyways. What's the matter now? Well, the matter is. All right, now we need to go to the Divine Beast. Thank you. 
Your mind. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm feeling confident. Hmm. Thank you. You don't have a bunch. Yeah, let's do this. Let's move.
we go. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Alright, it's fine, you can trust me. I'll do that later, but now I'm just going to do this. Take Noboris back. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Head over to that guidance stone over there. Sounds easy, right? Yeah. Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Nabordis are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Nabordis back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this.
There are four terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. Hip. What does this do? Ah. This is gonna take a while. I'll be right back. Alright, I've already activated all the terminals. Sorry I didn't record it because it's, it'll take a long time. It really did took a long time and I didn't want to like bore you guys. Thunder Light Ganon. Thunder Light Ganon. Stay on your edge, Link. This formidable adversary was made by Ganon and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow this to be your end. Fight for your life. And it's death. This thing is fast. Watch yourself. <laughs> Thank you. This is kind of probably the hardest boss that I've ever defeated. But that's why I know that. 
Oh. That was sweet. Did it. Alright, now after I'm done with this, I'm gonna like focus on getting more hearts, more stamina, and then we'll make a final part. Let's activate this. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Lin. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free, and Noboros is ours once again. Which means that finally, we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. Arbosa, Gerudo champion. So long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. Urbosa's Fury. It will no doubt be of use to you. Um... <laughs> Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know, I couldn't be more proud of her. I'll let her know. You take good care of the princess. Oh. And also, take good care of Hyrule. I will. The whole world is relying on me. Gonna go to the top.
Now we're prepared. Naboru, legend of the Garuda, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor me. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Naboru? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Garuda. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strength. That moment is going to be so delicious. <laughs> now we finally did it. We collected all of the four divine beasts. Says Fury. Link. Link. Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us, and the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Oh yeah. Wait, I'm still not allowed? I'm still not allowed? What the? Now we have collected all four of the Divine Beasts. We have Mipha's Grace, Rivali's Scale, Daruk's Protection, and Arbosa's Fury. I think my favorite is Rivali, Rivali's Gale and Arbosa's Fury. You know what? Forget it. All of them are my favorite. Oh, you're back. I'm glad you're okay. I truly am. Nabor Naboris is no longer treated to the town. Threatened to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threats to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be tr troubled by Naboris anymore. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. I want to end the video. 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 We've done it. I know what this is. Okay, now let's go to Kokoriko Village. Because we need to talk to Lady Impa. And we're going to do that in the next video. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the final part of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I'll have you guys decide what I should wear for the final battle.